Hey everyone, Ralphie from the Board Game Gateway. Uh, today we'll be playing Slay the Spire on Tabletop Simulator. Um, I've already chosen a character. Today we're going to be playing the Silent. Um, so in Slay the Spire, you'd have to essentially go up um, the spire. So this is yourself or me uh, in this case. Um, and you need to choose your path, going up, getting treasure, taking on elite monsters, buying stuff at the shop because you get gold when you defeat a monster, and you have to verse a boss. Now, as you go up, you improve your deck of cards, so that's pretty cool. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. In a, that's it in a nutshell anyway, so, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. So I have my starting deck of cards here, got my starting gold, but this giant whale, I need to pick an option. Upgrade a card, add a random rare card, or gain $10 in a curse. I think I might choose to add a random rare card to my thing. So this is the rare card deck, I'll give it a shuffle and just take the top card. And I get apply weak and poison to an enemy x times. So x equals to the amount of energy I spend. So we'll just shuffle that in and get rid of that. It's not too bad. Um, they updated the simulator recently. So it now has this nice discard hand button. Um, and we have a different starting relic. So we also have this relic for this character, which is have a bigger hand at the start. And this one's pretty good, the loaded die. So, let's go to our first combat. So we're versing the cultist. Uh, he's always going to attack me for one, but then he gets a strength token at the end of his turn, and that makes his set of attack one, it's a plus one, so it's like attack two and things. So we roll the die in case it triggers a relic. It does not. This relic here triggers on a five or a six. So we'll take our starting hand of seven cards. And I've got quite a bit going on, so I might just go straight up this one. Um, I do want to block. No, I'll take a damage. So three poison and three weak to him. So one, two, three. So his next three attacks is going to be one less. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to move my poison and my shivs just to the side. And he's got three poison, so he's always going to take three damage at the start of his turn. One, two, three. And that was the end of my turn, so I'll discard my hand. So it took his three damage, he's going to hit me for zero, and a weak token goes away. And we roll, and we go to the next turn, I draw up to five cards. A one, my relic does not trigger. So he's going to attack me for two now, because he got strengthened at the end of his turn. So I might block one, and play my strike, and block another one, why not? So I only hit him for one. Then he takes three poison damage, one, two, three, and he hits me for one, and I successfully block that. So this game, you're constantly picking up cards, um, discarding your hand, getting hit, so on and so forth. Uh, so he's strengthened again. And I just need to hit him for two, and I've got three cards here, that will, four cards here that will do it. So we've killed him. And the top corner has our reward, so we're going to get a gold, and we're going to draw, get a card. So I take my gold, and we're going to get a card. So you draw three from the deck, and you pick one. I'm going to go heavy poison, I think, so I might take poison stab, because it's slightly better than this one. Although I do want to know what the upgrade, because you can upgrade cards. And that's poison all enemies. Oh, I might just take this guy. And that's it, so these cards are out. I can no longer get those. And that's it, I've got a new hand. We remove the monsters. Yeah, that rare card was pretty good with this poison ability. I like it. And we go up the spire, we're going to go up the middle and get an event card. So I could choose to upgrade a card or upgrade two random cards and lose three health. Oh, do I want to choose? Yeah, I might just choose. I want to know what this one, the rare card is. 
the same thing, but it's x plus 1. So that'd be 4. No, we're not going to... Uh, we're going to upgrade two random ones. Because I feel like, no matter what I get, it's going to be good. So I lose 3 HP. 1, 2, 3. What I'm going to do is just shuffle and draw the top two cards. Wow. Alright, that was pretty good. So I upgrade this strike. Let me upgrade this one. That was a fair trade, I think. We go into a combat. And we roll this die. A 4 does not trigger my ability. So on a 4, he's going to hit me for 2. Okay, because it says so on the card just there. So we draw up to 7 cards. He's got a lot of health, but I don't want to lose health either. So I'm going to block for two. It cost me one energy. So I move that down. And I have to discard a card. I'll discard that. And then I'm going to play this one. So I put two weak and two poison on him. And he's going to lose a weak now and attack me for one. And I successfully blocked it. Alright, but he loses 2 health because of the poison, and we roll again. Same thing, he's going to do 2 damage to me. Uh, so we're going to hit him for 1 and a poison, so we're adding to that poison, which is nice. And I will make him weak again and hit him for 1. So I'm just going to copy this one. And then I still have two energy left, so I'll hit him for two. One, two. And now his three poison's gonna go off. One, two, three. Unfortunately, I don't kill him. But he's gonna hit me for one. I don't block it, so I lose one health. I thought I had enough, but oh well. I got. And the poison's gonna heal him next turn. So we're gonna move on. So I take two gold. I'm gonna grab a five on and change it. One, two, three. And I get a card. Hmm. I might take acrobatics because that might come in handy later. Yeah, especially when I have higher energy, it might be nice. Cool. So we remove the enemies, move all these tokens back, and up we go. I have a bit of gold, so let's go to the shop. Although I might be able to hit another shop later. Yeah, let's go to the event. Please be kind. Remove a card. I could heal three. Well, that's great. Okay, remove an uncommon card. Okay, so uncommon is anything with that sort of banner. Uh, I might remove a strike because we added a couple of things. And I heal three HP. One, two, three. That was a kind event. Now, we're going to be brave and go for this elite monster because elites give you relics, but they are harder to kill. So. Right, so he has 17 health, and this is his little health bar. On his first turn, he's going to do nothing. He's just going to do, get a status called Enraged. And then after that, he's going to hit me for three. But every time I play a card, I take one damage. That's going to be rough. I'm going <laughs> to probably die here, but we'll see how we go. So first up, we roll the die. I hope I get a 5 or a 6. I do, I get one block, but it doesn't matter too much now. 7 cards coming my way. Right, let's do that. We'll get it, make him weak. And he takes 1 damage. And I'll do that. 1 hit and a poison. And then... We'll play this for two. So he takes two more weak. And two more poison. 
and that's all I can do. Now that's exhausted, so that goes out, and that's exhausted, so that goes out. So that's all the poison I'm going to give him. Oh, shit, I don't think I've got this, guys. Um, it's alright, he's going to take the 3 damage. And he does not attack me, but now he's enraged. So now every time I play a card, I'm going to take 1 damage. So we draw up our 5 cards, we roll this die. 3, I did not get a block. So... We're going to play this for two block. I only get one. Um, and I have to discard a card. And I'll play this for one damage. But I take a damage which will get rid of my only block. And I'm not going to play a card because as soon as I play it, I'm going to take damage. So He takes three from the poison. So one, two, three. Alright, so he's now on eight health. And he's going to hit me for two. One, two, and we draw up. We roll this die. Hope I get the block. Dope. Alright. So I'm going to play that for the first one. I have to discard a card. So that gives me one block. Do this for two damage. One, two. So I only have one more energy. He's going to take three. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm not just not going to play it. Um, now he is going to do. Oh, he does one less. I think I'll. Yeah, okay. So that was for last turn. This is for this turn. He's going to hit me for two. So take one damage. I think I did that right. I'm not sure. But he loses three for poison. One, two, three. And I think we might be okay, because, oh, shit, every time I play a card, I lose the health, but he has three poison, so one, two, three, yeah, I'll just discard my hand, the poison will kill him. Oh, that was good, I was touch and go for a little bit, but that, the poison in this board game of Slay the Spire is just insanely good, so, yeah. Keen to see. So I get two gold for defeating the big bad boss, the elite. And I get a relic. So just top of the deck, I don't get to pick. Ooh, on a six, I get two block. That's pretty cool. Wish it was on a different number. Uh, and then I get to draw the cards and pick one. Ooh, shivs. Nice. I really want poison. Mm, these don't really work for me, so I'm not, I'm not going to take any. If I was going for a shift deck, sure, but I want poison. So we just take all our exhausted cards and give it a shuffle. Remove enemies, and now we're in a campfire. Now, at a campfire, we can heal for three, or we can upgrade a card. And I'm going to choose to upgrade that poison card, because I really... I want to see more poison in, the, in this deck, and that means it always stays in my deck, it doesn't exhaust and go away, so... Cool. I'm going to go this way and get a relic, top of the deck. Once per combat, exhaust up to two cards in your hands. That's pretty good. I really like that. Um. I'm not feeling confident enough for another baddie, so we'll go through to two events. So first off is this first event here, is this one. Uh, roll a die and something happens. So what do I get? A four. Gain a relic. All right, this is good. At the start of combat, gain energy. Oh shit, that's so good. Just hope I get in that initial hand of seven. This is my, like, get that poison card. This is why I might want to keep my deck thin. Uh, and next one is gain a relic, lose one HP. I'm happy with that trade. What do I get? Upgrade a starter, defend, and another skill, then discard this item. Okay. So the other skill sounds like I get to pick it, but... This is a starter defend card, and we'll upgrade that. And the other skill has to be a skill. I don't think I have any interesting skills in here. That one, I guess. Yeah. 
Mm, the deck's looking nice. That's for sure. And then discard this, so we'll discard that. And let's go fight a normal monster to get to the shop, I think. Alright, so as you can see, things are getting harder. We started um, with Joss versus and the Cultists, and now we got that and a Spike Slime. So, but in saying that, I've got three relics, and yeah, pretty good. Alright. So, I'm going to use this one once per combat. I'm just going to tap that sideways like that. I might change my rotation. <laughs> this is how you change your rotation in the game in TTS, the top right corner. And then that way, when you do rotate, it's a nice little tap. So, I'm going to exhaust two cards in my hand. One, two. Uh, we roll the dice, see what happens. Three, nothing happens. So, on a three, he's going to hit me for one and a status effect. So, I'll play that for my first one, which is two block and discard a card. And then I will hit our first buddy with this. One hit and a poison. And then I've got the energy, so I'll just do two damage to this guy. The reason I'm trying to kill him quickly is because he gets strengthened. And he can be a problem to deal with later. But uh, I discard my hand. And then their turn. So first off, he takes one damage of poison. He hits me for one. Boop. And he strengthens up. So the next turn, he's going to hit me for two. And this guy's going to hit me for one. Boop. And this status effect happens. So this says, put it on top of your draw pile. I'm just going to put it straight in my hand because now the time I draw up. Alright, we roll the die. Hope I get a 5 or a 6, or 1 does nothing. That's also tapped, so I only have 3 energy now. But on a 1, it's going to make me 1 damage of invulnerable. Alright, well I'm going to take do this for a shield of 1. And then I'm going to play this one to make him too weak and too poison. Okay, so now his turn. So this goes away and I discard my hand. It's gonna do three damage. One, two, three. Was well, enough to kill him? He's gonna die next turn. And this guy's not gonna take any poison. So he's going to hit me for one because the strength and that token cancel each other out and I block that. Now this guy's going to hit me for one. Boom. And I get vulnerable. So it means my next hit is double damage. So that's not great. Um, poison's just going to kill this guy. So I'm going to just say I kill him now because I'm just pretty much just going to focus on him anyway. Alright. We roll the die. Hope I get the shield. Nope. So on a 3 is going to hit me for 1. That 1 is going to be a 2 because of the vulnerable and double damage. So 2 block for my upgraded thing. Let's make him weak. And 1 damage. And I'll hit him for 1 damage as well. And... I really like that thing, so I'm going to draw four cards and discard one. And that's it. And discard them all. His turn, he's going to hit me for two, but I successfully blocked that and this goes away. Wait, he's going to hit me for two. Well, he is before one. Either way, my block goes away. So I draw two cards, give us a shuffle, draw the remaining three. Oh, I know. This one was on top. Because I have to take that first. Alright. Unfortunately, I won't kill him. He is going to make me vulnerable again. We will get, say, block two, and make him weak one. Cool. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to win this pretty safely now. So I'll draw five. 
one, two, three, that will kill him. So, happy days. So we get one gold. Now this is something we haven't seen yet. We also are getting a potion in the top left. So we'll give the potion deck a shuffle and we'll take the first one. Draw three cards. So that's, potions are uh, a use once item, but they're pretty good. Uh, and we take a card. I want more poison stuff. Oh wow, concentrate could be good. That could be really good. Discard any number of cards and gain energy for each card discarded. That would be great if I got that in my initial draw and I can really lay on the poison straight out of the gates. So that's what I'm hoping to do. Uh, so we remove enemies. We're going to go shopping. So shopping's pretty cool. Generally, you should move that dice out of the way first. All right, and we draw three cards from here. And if I want any of these, I can buy them. Um, I'm okay. Um, when you add an attack to your deck, upgrade it. It has three use, it costs me seven money. And draw a card or trigger a two ability. And gain two gold whenever you enter a question mark room. And I can remove a card for three. So what I might do is remove a card for three. One, two, three. Got a bit of block now. I think... I'll remove a block. Just a, sh a crappy one. That's out of my deck because I paid for it. Then... Hmm. Health-wise, I'm going to have to rest next turn. Yeah, I like the codex. So that cost me eight. Five, six, seven, eight. That's all my money. Yeah, might do that. So we'll get rid of the shop now. And we have some good relics. So I have four energy to start a fight. Cool. That's a potion I have. So we're going to the campsite. We're going to rest for three. One, two, three. And then we're going to fight the big boss for this act. Now we have the Hexa Ghost. And essentially he's going to keep going one, like down and through them um, for his attack. So this is get a fire card, which is this one, into my hand. So whenever I have it in my hand, I take a damage. I might save this exhaust two cards in your hand for the fire cards as they start coming out because it can get pretty overwhelming. Uh, he has a lot of health. I believe it's 34, 36. So they changed that. I believe it used to be 35. I could be wrong there. Uh, and that's it. So I have four energy to start. I really want this concentrate and this poison. I've got the poison. I've got concentrate. That is amazing. So the first turn is going to hit me for one. I think it's worth taking that just to really lay on this weakened poison. So concentrate. You exhaust it, and it says that to discard any number of cards in my hand and gain energy for each card discarded. Now, I, d I don't believe you're capped here. It, it can be an endless amount of energy. I don't believe that's the limit. I could be wrong there, but I don't think that's the limit. So I have four energy right now. Four, five, six, seven, eight nine so i can put play this card and we give him nine weak and nine poison straight out of the gates one two three four all right cool and then nine weak now unfortunately there's no thing so one two three four five six seven eight nine now that is a perfect start <laughs> to a fight because at the start of his turn he's going to take nine so i'm going to take ten off and give him one there 
He's not going to last me last very long. So he's turning to his one damage to me. I have no block. One damage. Then he gives me a burn card. Put in discard pile. Take one damage if this is in your hand at the end of your turn. So that's pretty good for him. But I think my poison is going to kill him. Then that cube moves down on the page. And the next turn is going to attack me for four, essentially. But... As long as I have the block, I think I've got him. Alright, so I have three energy now. I'm going to draw four cards so, and discard two. And discard one, sorry. I'll discard that one. So for one, so for one energy, it's two block. And then I'll hit him and give him another weak. <laughs> this guy loves his weak tokens. Uh, and then I will, I need one more energy, so I'll do another block. So, he's going to hit me, because for each attack, one of these come off. So he's going to hit me for one and one, so a total of two. And I've got three block. So I could have played this, but I'm going to live with my mistake, because that's what you do in the video game. You play really fast, and you make mistakes. So, um, But at the start of his turn, he's going to take nine poison damage. So again... So gonna do that. So he's on seven. He's on seventeen health right now. So I'm looking pretty freaking good right now. And I believe he lost two weak tokens as well. He's not going to hit me this turn. He's just going to put two more of these things in my discard pile. So first off, he's going to put one of those in, and we draw five cards. All right, take one damage if this is in your hand at the end of your turn. Um, let's hit him for one, and give him another poison token so what I'm going to do is give him a nice 10 poison and I hit him for one two block and discard a card in your hand and I'll just do two damage to him for my last turn alright so 10 poison boom he's on 4 health this is too easy this deck that concentrate combo was just so good. Um, and he puts two wounds in to my discard. Now I have to draw. So all this is going to get shuffled. We draw five cards. Not a bad draw. That's a good draw. So now... I don't think... He's only got four health. So he's not going to really get a turn. I'm just going to end my turn now. Um, one thing I noticed as well, I have forgot to roll the die, so I could have been getting some blocks for free as well. But we're going to discard my cards. He takes 10 damage. And that is the end of Hexaghost. <laughs> so, we get 3 gold for the pleasure. So we got 3. Cool. And I tend to make a mess. So we're going to clean up after ourselves. Cool. Um, we get to choose from a boss relic, and then we get a card as well. So end the combat. I could heal two HP. That is pretty good. Heal four HP when you enter the campsite room. That's good as well. I like the end the combat one better. But and getting a potion. After each combat's pretty good. The card upgrades are better. So I might get take Black Blood. So I always heal 2 HP at the end of combat. I really wanted something that was going to give me energy. But my deck is doing pretty good at giving energy. If I take Black Blood, it means I ne almost never have to worry about health. And I can start going on the attack a bit more. The potion's good. This one's really good too, but... The black blood is just more easy to manage. It's more reliable, I guess. And now we get to choose from the rare cards. So, gain energy and draw two cards. Or your strikes also apply poison. So, three damage is pretty good. But I really want more Concentrate and Poison combo. Which Adrenaline will help me get. The Venom 
card is great, but it costs three. I've only I only have three energy per game, so per round. So I'm gonna take adrenaline, and if I upgrade that, that'll be fantastic. But I really want to thin this deck out. There's just a lot of cards in it. But yeah, that was Act One. Um, please feel free to join me for Act Two if you like. Um, pretty keen. I feel like this is a solid deck, so it could be something pretty exciting. But yeah, hope you join me, and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>